Hello, this is Blue Joe Saunders, WBO middleweight champion of the world. Subscribe to Sport and Icons to stay in touch with all the top news. God bless you all. Now, with the news of that Tyson Fury could be getting his license back or at least having his hearing continued um, potentially from next week, as Team Fury has finally put in a date request that they can continue their hearing for UCAD over the whole allegations and between himself and Huey Fury and all this kind of thing. It seems to have given him a new lease of life and if you guys cast your minds back to a few videos that I did over like the last month or so where I've been saying that uh, Tyson Fury for his own good needs to take a leaf out of his friend Billy Joe Saunders book where Billy Joe Saunders has left his surroundings to concentrate on his career if you like and that's pretty much what Tyson Fury is appear to be doing right now he's got himself a new trainer now which is a uh, great news for him so he's not being trained by his uncle anymore obviously there's um sometimes within family when you have like a little bit of conflict and whatever now we know that tyson wasn't happy with peter and mckennessy and huey if you like to sign some kind of deal with haymaker and ring star promotions obviously because there is some history between tyson fury and david hay and so either way Whatever the reasons are, maybe this is nothing to do with it because we do know Tyson did turn up for Huey's fight against Joseph Parker and was very animated about the fact that Huey isn't the champion. Now, for his own good, me and obviously a lot of you guys have said that he needs to change his surroundings, get out of the mundane habits. So he's no longer being trained by Peter Fury. He's now got a new trainer. Um, I forgot his name, to be honest with you. But he's based at Ricky Hatton's gym. So again, that's the first step of something good something new something fresh you know so he goes into the gym with a new surroundings all that kind of thing now not only has he done that but he's now got a new management team in mtk global also they are managers of uh, billy joe saunders carl frampton um they're sponsors of ifl tv and all this kind of thing so a lot of fighters are going to mtk global now and tyson fury is the latest in the line of that obviously they are managers and of course advisors as well now, this is a massive, massive step for him because Mick Hennessy was obviously part of his management team. So does this mean that Titan Fury is no longer associated with Mick Hennessy? Obviously, he's shown Mick Hennessy a lot of loyalty over the years when a lot of people said, you know what, you should maybe jump ship and actually go earn some money and do something good for your career. Because while Mick Hennessy is loyal to him and he gave him his chance, if you like, Ultimately, it has held him back. Now, he could still have McKennessy on board somewhere along the lines as promoter or something like that, maybe. I don't know, or Frank Warren. But if he was to now change promoters and jump ship and go with Eddie Hearn, as Eddie Hearn has said that he'd like to work with him, then this is a total U-turn for Tyson Fury and for the better. Like I said, he's got a new trainer now. He's got a new management team and ultimately hopefully new promoter so he didn't have mick hennessy by his side he didn't have his family around him all the time he can just concentrate fully on his career so whatever kind of family conflicts that they have and everybody has them he's not taking it to work with them and taking it home also so he can separate his boxing life to his family life keep his uncle peter as his uncle and obviously his cousins and all this kind of thing and um, obviously keep a friendship with Mick Hennessy. But of course, would Mick Hennessy be too happy if he was to go and join Eddie Hearn? Don't know. Would Frank Warren? Don't know. I'm not too sure that he's concerned about Frank Warren or his feelings. Of course, obviously he's not family. And uh, Frank Warren has been a little bit blasphemous of, um, not blasphemous, but he has said some pretty derogatory things about Tyson in the past. But ultimately, he's his fighter, right? And... Frank Warren is still managing and promoting, if you like, Huey. But for Tyson to jump ship altogether and go with somebody like um, Eddie Hearn, that is a total rebuild of his career. And that's exactly what he needs. So hopefully in the coming days, weeks, once he gets his license sorted out, then hopefully we'll be hearing that Tyson Fury has indeed signed with Eddie Hearn. So he's moving a lot of chess, chess pieces in the right place right now. He's doing the right things. He's concentrating on, on his career to hopefully now take the whole thing serious. He's already said that a lot of things that he said in the press in the past were purely for 
publicity and he didn't expect them to get out of hand the way that they did. So now, hopefully, with a new management team, new advisors, if you like, at MTK Global, he's got a new training team with him, so new surroundings, all this kind of thing now. Obviously, he's sparring with the likes of Dave Allen and that now as well, and hopefully now we're going to be hearing about new promoter in Eddie Hearn, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. But even if he doesn't, he still made some right moves, so if he does stay with uh, Mick Hennessy or Frank Warren, then either way, he has made some changes that's going to benefit him. So good luck to Tyson Fury. Hopefully he gets his license back and UCAD and the British Boxing Board of Control admit that they are at fault for keeping him out of the ring for two years. Ultimately, of course, Tyson Fury has to take some blame for some of this. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. But for right now, Tyson Fury, he's got a new trainer. He's got a new management team and maybe now a new lease of life. And will he be adding a new promoter? We'll have to wait and see. So click that thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and of course, catch you on the next one.